there are two fundamental things that we did. We used, of course, programmable shading and ray traced acceleration to produce incredibly beautiful pixels. But then we have artificial intelligence be conditioned, be controlled by that pixel to generate a whole bunch of other pixels. Not only is it able to generate other pixels spatially, because it's aware of what the colors should be, it has been trained on a supercomputer back in NVIDIA, and so the neural network that's running on the GPU can infer and predict the pixels that we did not render. Not only can, can we do that, it's called DLSS, the latest generation of DLSS also generates beyond frames. It can predict the future generating three additional frames for every frame that we calculate. What you saw, if we just said four frames of what you saw, because we're going to render one frame and generate three, if I said four frames at full HD, 4K, that's 33 million pixels or so, out of that 33 million pixels, we computed only two. It is an absolute miracle that we can computationally, computationally using programmable shaders and our ray traced engine, ray tracing engine, to compute two million pixels and have AI predict all of the other 33. And as a result, we're able to render at incredibly high performance because AI does a lot less computation. It takes, of course, an enormous amount of training to produce that, but once you train it, the generation is extremely efficient. So this is one of the incredible capabilities of artificial intelligence, and that's why there's so many amazing things that are happening.